one vignette, two different wall colors. This is the challenge that some of us editors were given at House and Home. Today was my turn. 15 colors were chosen from over 1,500 Sherwin-Williams paint colors. I had to spin a wheel to find out which two I would be working with. I was a little nervous. All the colors are beautiful, but I definitely have my favorites that I feel more comfortable working with. The first color that I landed on was called Aristocrat Peach. I've never actually worked with a color like this before on a wall, so I was super happy. The second color that I landed on was called Ruskin Room Green. I have worked with a color that's similar on the darker tone. I actually have it in my hallway and love it. I started with Sherwin-Williams Aristocrat Peach first. This paint is great because Emerald Interior Acrylic Latex Paint is resistant to water streaking and spotting. It's washable, resistant to stains, and has a smooth finish. Everything I'd need in a paint. So pretty. I'm actually a sucker for anything pink or peach. I went with a matte finish because I really like the look, but it also comes in a satin and semi-gloss. Huh. Paint is going on really smoothly, and it's covering really well. I'm gonna be done in no time. So with one side down, I was ready to get started on the other color. The Sherwin-Williams Ruskin Room Green went on really well and was looking rich and deep. I really do love painting, but I hate prep. So I'm really, really glad that this is a paint and primer in one. I loved how the color felt more olive and neutral than I had expected. I had both sides of the wall done in no time. The vignette that I wanted to set up was a home office that could also work in potentially a living room or a den or a family room, something really versatile where you could just sit down and do some work. I found this great antique desk that I really loved for the wood color and the grain. I felt like it had a warmth to it. I then brought in a bookcase that was really modern and clean lined and I thought it would be a nice contrast to the antique desk. Next I brought in a vintage rug. I really, really love the pattern in it and the faded color. The shape of the chair is actually more traditional and classic, but it's done in a very, very clean way and also the pop of color makes it modern. The lamp that I brought in is really modern and was a great contrast to the antique desk. The painting gave the vignette some edge and I was excited to see how the colors in the painting would play off of both wall colors. I can't quite put my finger on what kind of look this is. It's basically an eclectic mix, which is what I was really after. This color is typically seen as traditional. It's kind of a historic color, really. And the hits of white and modern lines really freshen it up and bring it up to date. The green paired with the desk plays off of the traditional factor. So a traditional color, traditional desk. The painting against the green was something that I really loved. All the greens in the painting sort of blended into the wall, whereas the other colors popped out and really took center stage. I took a bit of a risk with the chair. I wanted to bring something in that was a bold color. I find that it really modernized it. It's not a really, really punchy color, and so it, it works with the dustier wall color. This green is really livable. It's a multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, olive, warm green, but it's also neutral without being boring. It would go great with modern furnishings or traditional furnishings, living rooms, family rooms, bedrooms. It's a really calming, soothing color, very easy on the eyes. I thought this wall color was a success with the vignette and I was anxious to see how the second color would look with it. My initial reaction when we turned the wall to Sherwin-Williams Aristocrat Peach was, wow, totally different. The color is bright, it's playful, it's cheerful, I love it. I really think this color can enliven almost any space without being overbearing because it has a dusty sort of undertone and it comes from an orange family, which is nice. It was a really sweet look, but I managed to balance it out with the rough wood in the antique desk and the hits of black to ground it. What really popped was the painting. All the darker colors in it really stood out. In the previous vignette, the chair really popped against the green, whereas in this vignette, it was more of a tone on tone, so it still popped, but it was a little quieter. What keeps this color from feeling too young is pairing it with hits of black and white and warm wood tones. It was really awesome to try two different wall colors in one space on the same day. I've never been able to do that before. 
One look is cheerful and bright, and the other is moody and calming. I had a lot of fun with this challenge, and with so many beautiful colors out there, take a risk, try something different. You might really, really love the results. I know I did.